Good afternoon, students. We were discussing this numerical. Uh, we will complete <coughs> the discussion for that. So see, in that numerical, we saw that um, this was the free body diagram. For the truss. This was the situation. Like this. We have also identified this angle. It was 26.56 degrees. This was 1200, 600 Newton. This is 2700 Newton. This was that point E, but I am being let us consider this to be that point E. Then we, what we have done, we have identified first of all this force in number CH, force in number BE, and force in number BE. Again, out of this, uh, how many force did we identify? Yeah. How many forces did we identify? I think force in member CH, isn't it? And that was identified? Yes or no? Sorry. Yes? Yeah. This force in member CH was evaluated by uh, using the yeah. equation. Summation of moment about point P e equal to zero. Yeah. Okay. And based on this, what we have found? Force in member CH. It came out to be 750 Newton. You can see. Okay. Now so the next step is to identify uh, the force in member BE and DE. Okay. BE and DE. So for that, what we can do is, we can make use of this equation, summation of force in x direction equal to zero. So how many uh, forces do we observe? FBE plus FBE cos of 26.56 plus FCH. FCH actually came out to be a tension force. So, whatever is the value, 750 Newton equated to 0. This is, let's say, equation number 1. Then, with the help of summation of forces in y direction equal to 0, what you can say? FD sine of 26.56, which is uh, we have assumed it in this manner, positive, then minus 1200, minus 600, plus 2700. Okay. 
Is this okay? So then you are looking at the first equal to zero, and therefore F D E comes out to be how much is the value? I'm getting this value to be minus two zero one two point eight. You can verify this value. Okay, that means whatever my assumed direction was, it is wrong, or I can say plus one zero one two point eight one eight in the comparison. Is it it? So this came out to be compressive. This is point D. Okay. Other location or other points are B, C, and D. Now see, in this particular numerical, what we can do, since we are supposed to identify four cell member B D and uh, four cell member C D. Also, okay. So in that case, uh, either you can consider see this thing. But over here, what we observe, there are four members which are getting intersected by this cutting plane, right? Although we have identified the values, okay. But if we, what we can do is, if we minimize our efforts and if we try to make use of method of joints in that case we can identify simply identify these two unknown solutions okay so this numerical will comprise of method of joints and method of section combination of both methods that can be followed okay so let's say after finding out the uh, forces in member fde and fch then you can easily uh, find out forces member B e from equation one. Okay, because we have already found out these two values. So what I can say force in member B e, I am getting that value as one zero five zero point four. And this is tension. This is positive value. Okay. So we have found out. B E B E and C H. Everything is found out with the help of section one one. Instead of going for another section, what you can do is you can eliminate these values and you can say that okay, I will go with the method of joint. Okay, such a combination is also allowed because it is convenient. Right? What I will do? Now let us. I will assume this joint D and I will draw the free body diagram. Okay. So for joint D, the free body diagram shall be something of this sort. Right. And over here you will find that this is known uh, known force. Okay. And it came out to be compression. Like this. What was the value? Uh, this value is two zero one two point eight. Point eight one. Okay. So let me assume force in this member. That is force in member B D. Tension. Force in member C D. Again tension. For time being. Okay. I know this angle. This is twenty six point five six, and as per the geometry over here, and as per the dimensions, we were whatever, whatever, whatever uh, were mentioned over here. As per that information, can you please find out this angle value? Please? Can anyone tell me the this angle value? That will be tan inverse of four by six. That is two by three. Tan inverse of four by six. How much is the value? Thirty-three point six nine. Am I right? 
then what about this angle this angle is nothing but this or this whatever it is this comes out to be from the geometry it comes out to be 53.13 dissolve this into components so as a result of this here like this okay. and you formulate the equation this has to be this has to be again dissolved right so you can write out the equation for it into this figure minus fbd cos of 23.69 minus 2012.81 cos of 26.56 minus fcd cos of 50.16 equal to 0 equation 1 let's say then this is this is for the summation of forces in x direction equal to zero. Then summation of forces in y direction equal to zero. Is it minus I have BD sine thirty two point six nine minus two zero one two point eight one sine of twenty six point five six and sorry minus FCD. You can solve these two equations and get the values for D and C. Okay. And getting force in member B D to be how much it is? <coughs> 903. <coughs> 903 Newton compression. Okay, and DC again is a compression value 1750 meters. You can verify these two values. Right? Is this okay? So, in this numerical, what actually we have done, we have combined both the methods. We considered the advantages of both the methods and utilized it in this numerical. You can do that. You can uh, make use of both the uh, both the methods simultaneously. If it is not asked, uh, most of the times it is asked that with the help of this particular method only you are supposed to solve. So in that case, don't mix up the methods. Make use of the method which is asked. Okay. So, over here, since it was not specifically mentioned about the method, you can make use of both the methods. Now, we will take up one more uh, numerical. Okay. So you please note down the uh, problem statement. Find the maximum value of capital P. Find the maximum value of capital P. That is a force. That may be applied. That may be applied to the truss. To the truss as shown in figure. If the maximum load permitted in the members. If the maximum load permitted in the members BD, CD, and CE (coughs) 
BD, CD, and CE respectively does not exceed does not exceed seven thousand three thousand and five thousand newton seven thousand three thousand and five thousand newton okay so oh, there is a condition of this numerical that for this plus this here is minus 1 okay so this is minus 1 okay this is n over here so this is minus 10 times these are the internal members associated with this plus and this plus these are perpendicular members okay and the supports are holder R one is minus two. Hinge. This will be minus. How much is this? This is four speed. Twelve. Okay. Now, if I also want A, B, C, same expression. A, B, minus. This is here. R three that is here. This is D and above. This expression is minus one. D. This is ten. And G. How much is this? The height. The height is uh, given to be twenty meters. These magnitudes are force P. So, what you are supposed to identify? You are supposed to identify the maximum value of capital force P. That may be applied. Uh, if the maximum load permitted in the members BD, this one, then CD and CE, BD, CD and CE. If the maximum allotted uh, force in these members are seven thousand three hundred and five thousand newton respectively. In that case, what should be the value for P? Okay. So how to proceed? See so over here, as you can see, these are the three members: BD, CD, and CE. And you see the supports are one roller and another is hinge. So in such case, first step is to identify the reaction forces. Okay, so let me consider this to be R A, R G vertical, R G horizontal, horizontal. R G horizontal will be zero. See, there is no horizontal load associated to it. There may be vertical force. So let us try to find out. Okay, uh, the distance is given as 80 meters. This is eighty meter. Okay. Then, in order to see, calculate the reaction forces, we will have to identify the perpendicular distances. Is that it? So this will be obviously this is forty meter. This is a symmetrical uh, truss. You can say this is 40 meter distance. All right. Then what will be the uh, perpendicular distance associated to this? Can can you please let me know this perpendicular distance and this perpendicular distance? What will be the value? This is 10 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1. Yes. For that, can you please calculate this theta? What will be the value for theta? 
Theta will be tan inverse of this by this, that is 2 by 4, am I right? Or 1 by 2 halves? I hope everybody is getting this answer. Is this okay? So theta will be 26.56. Is this fine? Okay. Then. So, what will be the value for uh, the perpendicular distance which I have shown over here? Can you please calculate that? Please let me know what will be this value. So R3 will be R3 into some minus. This will be again theta. Minus. Minus. I am going to take R1 down because R1 will be taking all the values. To find out this, you please first of all find so out minus. this value. That is AD. AD is how much? So the same position has to be taken. As it is written on this here, what are you like? Here, you want to work on A, 2, 2. Isn't it? Here, what is the value of A1? I am getting it to be 44.72. Please verify. Okay. And secondly, I have got also present what I am working on. Therefore, AB. AB actually is half of AD. That is 22.36 meter. Right. So, if this is theta angle and if we know the AB value, we can definitely find out this that this uh, this distance is nothing but AB cos theta. But I'm writing it. This distance. Am I right? And you can identify this to be A B sin theta. But our hair can be Is this okay? How much will be the value then? A B cos theta value. 22.36 into cos of this value. Identify this perpendicular distance. So, so the original matrix is going to be the same as far well as those two acts and those acts. So, they are not going to be the same because we are operating on now uh, only on the second upper point. So, this will be the same. This is 10 minus 2. Yes, minus how much is this? Are you getting that value to be 10 meter? Yes, sir. Okay. So now let us go for operation one by one. Is this okay? This is 10 meter, this is 20. Uh, can you please find out the value for AC? What will be the value for AC? So it, it's a matter of geometry. Okay. Uh, Can you find out from R2 is also 0. Okay. So 
So second group is this one. This is your second group. This group is also. So as a result of this, I'm saying from this point to this point. Then we have minus half. So you can consider this triangle ABC. Okay. And then you can find out uh, the associated value for AC. Can I say AC is AB divided by cos theta? Okay. From here, AB you have. Uh, what is the value for AB? AB is 22.36 divided by cos of 26.56, isn't it? From here, AC. I am getting it to be 25 meter. You please verify. So, so uh, the total distance from this point A to point C, this comes out to be 25 meter. Right? This information will be required. So, uh, what we are supposed to identify? The value of this P if the force in the members are uh, 7000, 3000, and 5000. Okay, so for that, if we if I consider this section, this cutting plane, you will see that all the three members which are mentioned in the numerator, those can be found. Right? So what what we will do? We will consider this section one one. Let's say, and we will draw the free body diagram of the left hand side portion of this. We have already identified, uh, we are yet to identify the RA and RGB value. So what we can do is, based on uh, these distances, we can first of all identify the RA and RGB value. So RA plus RGB equal to 3P. Am I right? PP. Okay. Then of summation of moment about any point, let's say G equal to 0. So RA minus into 80, this is clockwise. Then this P will rotate about G in the anti clockwise direction. So minus P into how much is this distance? 80 minus 20, that is 60. Then this will be 40 and this will be 20. Fine. Minus P into 20 equal to 0. Therefore, you will get RA. In terms of P, okay, in terms of P itself. So, it's not that. So now you see, uh, we have successfully uh, One point, I am getting 1.5 times P. You can verify. And therefore, RGB will be again 1.5 times P. Okay. So this is, these are the uh, values of the reactions what we have identified. Now let us move ahead and try to use the uh, information which is given in the numerical itself. Or problem statement itself. So now <coughs> I am going to just calculate on the last third uh, column. Over here, okay. I will draw the free body diagram of the LHS of this section. So like this, and this is that number. This is another okay. member. Okay. Let us assume tension initially. Okay. This, you can stretch this with dotted lines. It is meeting somewhere here at point. Let's say D. 
ठीक है we should concentrate on the forces which are actually on the LHS of this figure. R A came out to be one point five times P. This is P. Fine. And we have uh, the information related to this theta. Can you please let me know? What is the value of this? Let's say theta one. There is no point based on the geometry. Yeah. Ye wala. Now I have to just operate. Theta one. Ye kitna aata? Please tell me. Make use of this geometry. फ्रॉम Is it fifty three point one three? Okay. ठीक है. Fine. And what about this? This angle, it will be same as theta, and it came out to be twenty six point five six. Right. So what you do, you resolve. Okay. Uh, these inclined forces into zero are okay. components. So basically now this then be... you take moment about uh, one of the points. Let's say uh, if I take moment Same about time. point C, now, uh, this is the summation of moment about point C equal to zero zero. I will write down the equation. You please check. You please verify whether the equation is correct. So this is one point five p into twenty five minus p into five plus force in member B D. So let me consider this force B D. This to be force in member C D. Force in member C D. So force in member B D into twenty five times sine twenty six point five six. Is this okay? Please check this equation. Comes out to be. Uh, I am getting that value to be minus two point nine zero seven times p. Everything will be in terms of p initially. This is what I have found out the value for force in member C. Similarly, I can find out force in member C. E. For that, I will take moment about point B. Summation of moment about point D equal to zero. So you can formulate the equation. This equation comes out to be one point five times P. That is this. Eight to forty. This is the distance. Minus P into twenty. It will rotate about point D in the anticlockwise direction. And minus force in number C minus six into twenty equated to zero. Is this okay? And therefore, 
force in number C. This comes out to be, uh, I'm getting it to be 2 times P. 2 P. From here, I can uh, get the value for force in number C. For that, I can make use of some of force in any direction equal to zero equation to form the equation force in number C D cos of 53.15 this is positive plus force in number B D cos of 26.56 and plus force in number C D equal to zero Okay. Now, while substituting the values, be careful. Force in member C D. Here, force in member B D. Whatever you have found out, that has to be substituted. That is minus value. So minus 2.907 times P. F C D is positive. This is 2 times P. And from here, I am getting the value of FCD to be P. That is positive P. Okay. This is tension. Right? This is tension. And this comes out to be compression. Chicken? Okay, so what, what exactly now we are supposed to identify? We are supposed to identify that value of P. See, I will read it one more time. You are supposed to find the maximum value of P. Okay, if the maximum load permitted in the members B, B D, C, D and C, E are not to exceed 7000, 3000 or 5000 Newton. Okay, so what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to equate all these uh, given conditions in order to find out that maximum value uh, uh, for P. Okay. So first case is, since force in member BD should not exceed 7000 Newton. Since force in member B should should be less than seven thousand newton should be less than or equal to seven thousand newton that is it it should not exceed so therefore two point nine zero seven times p if equated to this I will get the value of p this p value comes out to be 2407.9 This is first case. Second case is since force in member CD it should not exceed 3000 newtons. What is force in member CD? Whatever we have identified, what was that value? Force in member CD, what was that value? P. Okay. So therefore, P is equal to 3000 Newton. Okay. And the third case, what is the third case? Force in member C E. Since force in member C E should not exceed five thousand newton. Equal that. So what was the value of uh, force in member C E here? Identified it as two times P equal to five thousand. 
and therefore is quite so we do that. Now, out of these three values, which one will you consider uh, the value for P? Y3000? No, so for that, you uh, reread the, I mean, I will re read out the numerical. Find the maximum value of P that may be applied to the dress if so, the maximum so load permitted in the members, okay, if the maximum load permitted in the members, so the load carrying capacity of these members should not exceed these values, isn't it? So out of this, out of all these values, okay, if the value is let's say 3000 Newton, whatever you are saying, but for condition number one, I have found out P to be less than 3000. That means the original load carrying capacity of one of the members is less than the other, another member. Isn't it? So, even if we compare the third situation, in this third situation, what do you observe? That the load carrying capacity of this member CE, this came out to be 25 meters. And the load carrying capacity for BD is less than 2500. Okay. Maximum, actually, maximum load carrying capacity is the minimum of all these three. Don't you agree? Since we are saying that the amount of force, it should not exceed all these values, whatever values are given. Right? So in order to uh, find out the maximum value, although it is written maximum value, but the actual load carrying capacity based on all these three parameters, it is nothing but the least value, whatever you have found out. Okay? So therefore you can write down from above three values of P, the minimum value, minimum value is to be taken as the value which can be applied to the plus. And therefore, P is equal to 407.9. Because you can see the maximum load is 7000, right? And for that corresponding maximum load, the P value, whatever P value you have identified is this. Okay? So, this could have been solved with the help of method of joints also, but that could have been a tedious process. What we have done, we have simplified the things, we have considered the section. Based on that, we have drawn the three body diagram. And later on, we have found out the various conditions based on which the p value is to be evaluated. Okay? So, I hope this is understood to all. Right? I will stop over here and uh, we will see another topic in the next class because this is the end of uh, the analysis of trust using a method of joints and method of sections. Okay? You can practice uh, various numerical. Uh, from various books which I have told to you. Okay? So you people can leave. Thank you.